I had a lot of friends that were coaches. I call them friends. They're actually predators. Uh, they told me they were going after Roy Cosley from Yorktown. Uh, we had a lot of kids from Yorktown. He knew he wanted to come to Syracuse. I wasn't too sure because everybody wanted him, and why not? And uh, when he decided to come to Syracuse, I was as happy as could be, you know. Uh, he's got a wonderful first name. Well, he's everything uh, that any coach could ever want, you know. He uh, is unshakably uh, confident, you know, and uh, he's strong. And, uh, you know, he realized uh, when he was born that he was average, like everybody is average. That wasn't good enough for him. Uh, mediocrity is not in his language, and uh, he realized he had to set himself an attitude and a, a, a way of, of growing. And uh, uh, so uh, with his focus and his work ethic in his mind, uh, he became, you know, a four-time All-American for me. A little give and go with Fiatta and Cozy, and Cozy with the shot, he scores! Every day was uh, like game day with him, you know. Practice was every bit as important to him, every bit as competitive to him. Uh, his, his style was uh, very competitive and his confidence in himself uh, was unwavering and uh, uh, he, he wanted people to follow what he did. He led by example and uh, uh, he was serious about the game. Uh, obviously he uh, uh, was midi of the year in 1995, he was a two-time national champion, uh, he played for the USA, he played in the pro league. Well he's the kind of kid who uh, he wanted to be there uh, when it mattered most. Uh, he wanted the ball, you know, he wasn't uh, hiding. Uh, he ran uh, north and south, always, always running the goal, never east and west. Uh, he had a great outside shot. Uh, they're hard to find in lacrosse. He's big, he's strong. Uh, most kids try and get a little closer to the goal. Um, not him. He let it go from where you might not expect it, and very often he found the corner. Shot, this one is good. The rocket shot by Roy Colsey. Uh, he shot about 75% of his shots his senior year, which is a very high percentage. And in the pros, uh, you get two points for a long shot, and not many people take it. It's uh, 15 yards. Uh, but he did, and he got a lot of two-point goals while playing in the MLL. He didn't get all the dues probably that uh, he deserved. You know, he wasn't uh, the high scorer or the MVP always. Uh, uh, he was a captain in 95 of a championship team. He was always in there uh, making things happen, and he didn't get all the accolades, maybe. Uh, he wasn't looking for them. Uh, the important thing to him was to uh, be on a winning team, be a winner himself, and doing the best he could, which he always did, and it was always very successful. He's one of the first uh, of those two national championship teams he was on to make a, a, a Hall of Fame. You didn't have to wait because he's still on the tip of everybody's tongue. I was the envy of every coach in the country because I had Roy Cosley. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt once said, uh, in your lifetime, people will walk in your life and walk out of your life. And the people that walk out of your life that you really admire and love, uh, they leave a footprint in your heart. And uh, Roy's left his footprint with me.